Hey guys and goddesses, what's up? I just finished opening my hair and I honestly haven't done it in like two weeks. I um, I just like braid little batu knots on it and, it and just keep oiling and oiling it. Um, and I haven't really washed it, like I co-washed but I haven't used shampoo and actually washed it. So I took it out because obviously the oil gets trapped in and the hair gets dirty as you can see. And I also want to do new Bantu knots on it. So today that what I will use, or what I'll tell you what I've been using lately, I've been using a lot of coconut oil. It really helps with breakage. I don't really have much breakage. Yeah, combing out obviously the hair that's shedding because you know black hair sheds differently than Caucasian hair, let's say. Because our hair, when we comb it, we get out all the shed shedding that we've been keeping in our hair for a while. So technically it's not really shedding at that moment, it's just the dry hair that's on the bottom that's coming out or not, especially that I'm opening my bottom two knots. There's dry hair. So yeah, I've been using a lot of coconut oil. I've also been doing the um, rice water to really help to refresh my hair and it's so nice and soft. Um, today what I will use for shampoo is what I've been using. It's almost done actually. Um, no, this is conditioner. <laughs> but um, well actually I'll show you the conditioner and the shampoo that I'm using. So I'm already, today I'm going to use this Cherry Blossom shampoo. You see it's like more full I'd say than the conditioner. And I'll use and this is the conditioner I've been using. It's basically almost fine. It smells way better than cherry blossom, but I use them. I tend to like color orientate these products because they come in colors and it's cool. They're not the same product. I mean, they're not the same. Like they're not both cherry blossom. This one is um, keratin oil, so it really does help with breakage. That's why my hair has been very great. For, um, it hasn't really been breaking too much. And it's like not as dry, it's more softer, and it's oil in it, so it's good conditioner. Um, cherry blossom, heavily, heavenly hydration, Hydra <laughs> heavenly hydration, <laughs> really refreshes my hair. I don't really care for the smell too much, but I really do love how glossy and like full of life my hair feels after using this product. So yeah, so. I hope y'all enjoyed this little video. I will be doing my Bantu knots, so I'll be back to show y'all my Bantu knots. Here, after washing, so nice and clean. So let me tell y'all a little bit about what I do when I wash my hair. When I wash my hair, <clears throat> I put usually I put oil in, but obviously when it's like a time frame away from opening my hair, I don't usually put oil in. Co-washing, I don't put oil in either. I don't really oil in it because I'm oiling every day. But when I'm like, let's say I was leave this hair like this all the time, I oil it every day, and then I would put extra oil when I wash it. Um, because I put so much oil, <clears throat> it's because my hair is really dry. Like, I have hair that, that really is dry. <laughs> like, there's no other way of, like, Technically, I'd say it's not really dry hair. It's more so, for so long, I feel like I had a period where I did not like water. <laughs> so I didn't drink enough water. So now I drink enough water, but my hair is still dealing with the trauma of that past, I feel like. And also the fact is, my hair growing up, we didn't put a lot of oil in our hair. We put oil when we were getting our hair done, but we don't put oil all the time, like thick oil. We always thought it was the wrong way of growing hair. But now I know, obviously, after years of trial and fails, that oil really helps your hair. And it really does feed my hair. It really does grow it. And I feel the way my hair feels softer. Like before when I wash my hair, it still feels rough. Now when I wash my hair, I just feel like it's when it can touch me. <laughs> it's so nice and like, like, I actually see my edges. I actually have edges now. I used to never see that. Also, damage from different people doing my hair, you know? 
when you get different people to do your hair, it causes more damage sometimes because they don't do it. They grab your baby hair and you're supposed to have baby hair. Um, also, the trauma I had with my ex and the abusive relationship I was in, he pulled my hair out. So I'm talking about like crochet. Literally, I have crochet and you know crochet is cornrows and then hair go in it with the loop. So pulling the crochet was pulling my cornrow as well. So I literally had bald spots. That was not cute. That was not cool. And it took me time. Like it had to like shave off all my hair, grow it again. Shave off my hair, grow it again. I don't know how many times that happened. So now being in a healthy state where I can grow my hair freely and enjoy growing it, it's fun. For my daughter, for example, I just oil her hair with coconut oil and other oils that I use. And it helps her hair, you know? It, 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 I don't really do her hair anymore. I've tried. I used to. And now I've noticed that she doesn't like her hair done at all. She really hates her hair done. So I just leave it, you know, uh, combing it. She doesn't mind, funny enough. But I feel like I just want to let it be. Maybe when she's two, I'll start really, like, braiding cornrows or just making little bug twos. Because even now, I can't really make bantus. I can comb it and I can tie it in little tiny balls, but she'll just. So, you know, you just let her be. You know, you just let her grow her hair and just let her live her life. And, you know, so a part of the hair growth journey, you must understand do what's good for you. If it feels right, if it doesn't. I'm not here to tell you what you should be doing with your hair, what you shouldn't be doing with your hair. No. I'm here telling you do what makes you feel right. For me, my goal is to hydrate my hair. That's why, and also grow thickness. So it takes more time, I feel like, in growing my hair because I'm constantly hydrating it and I'm also growing thickness in it. So it takes more time and it'll be more thicker than longer, quicker, if that makes sense. So I use also types of products. Like literally I use all types of products. It's annoying sometimes because some people will be like, what do you use on your hair? I'm like, um, I use this, 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 this. And, I mean, I, I'm the type of person who is very, um, I love to try new things. I love to go out of my way to really get out of my comfort zone or just give it a try. Like, what's going to hurt? I'm putting oil in my hair. I'm not putting no, like, <laughs> it's oil. It's not, it's not like relaxer where you keep trying new relaxers or hair dye. It's going to burn your hair out. No. It's actually good. Oil that's just hydrating you. It's like cooking. Yeah, you can put too I mean, it's not ideal, but if you do put too much oil, you know how to drain it out. So your food can come out right, or know how to put more food and, I mean, more um, more ingredients into it to make it be right. Like, let's say you're making eggs, and then you add too much, um, you add too much egg uh, oil, then you need to maybe add more egg, and then that way it'll cook way better and have more, um, use of the oil and less oily taste from the eggs. That's the same thing with oil for me. I feel like I just continue to use it. I haven't really used a silk scarf. I have a silk pillowcase, but I haven't used a silk scarf. Um, I just kind of use whatever. Like I used to collect a lot of scarves. So I use all of them and I kind of just tie it up and it helps stay in there. I also have a silk cap. Yeah, that's why I don't have a silk scarf. I have a silk cap, so it really helps to keep the oil inside my hair. Um, and keep it to moisturize. So today, I usually I've used hair fertilizer. Usually, right now, I would use hair fertilizer just because I, I like using it after I wash my hair because it really gives my pores a breath of fresh air. But I just feel like you know oiling my hair because I kind of miss it. <laughs> so I want to give love to it. So I'm gonna use um, um this hair food. I feel like I got it from Walmart, but I don't know. But anyway, it's an African gold um, hair food. It is contains coconut oil, lanolin, and vitamin E. Um, yeah, so um, the smell is okay. It's not like my favorite smell at all. My smell is hair oil, but I like putting it on because it's more thicker. So I usually, when I add oil, I literally add it as if it's like hair gel on my edges first.
gives my edges a bit of like a feeling sensation. Oh, hold that thought. <clears throat> I forgot to mention about when I wash my hair. When I wash my hair, I usually tend to use um, cold water because it wakes, I guess, in my head. It kind of, I mean, I've heard, or this is what I feel like makes sense to me, because it gets your hair very like, how do you explain it? Like it really just helps your hair. Like it's like when you drink cold water in the summertime, it feels nice. It feels good. That's the same way it feels for me when I use cold water for my hair. But when I use the cold water, um, that's when I add the shampoo in. Like I make sure all my hair is wet with cold water. And then I add the shampoo in, just giving me a feel of my scalp. And then I scrub, 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 like how I'm adding like hair oil. I basically do the same thing. I, I put it on my edges, I put it in my hair, and just rub it, and then it gives me, it really, it really helps like the hair shampoo really sink into my hair. And then I comb it. I comb it with, um, I should say the usual African brush, comb, whatever. <laughs> but I comb it with this, and it really helps to get out more, like, you know, hair is always shedding. So. I mean, dry hair is always there, leftover hair, I should say. <laughs> But knots and stuff, it really helps me like really massage my scalp and make it feel nice. It's like as if I'm giving a scalp treatment. That's what I do when I when I wash my hair. And then I rinse it all out with hot water. Because I feel like, or not hot but warm. I feel like when you rinse it out, you want it to like all the nasty, you know, dirty hair is all clean and and um, how do I explain it? It's all clean and it's feeling nice. Your hair is feeling more like it just, I feel like warm water usually kills germs and it also feels nice, you know? Like when you learn about um, food safety, they always tell you wash your hands with warm water because it feels nice and not only that it feels nice, but also the fact is it helps kill germs. That's how I look at it. Yeah, so you can go in like that. I try to get inside the scope to really help. Help the oil sink in. You know, when I was a kid growing up, we thought oiling your hair was literally like oiling this hair. But the way I look at it, the objective of your hair is your roots. It's just like when you're planting, a, uh, uh, when you're planting, or growing a, a flowers. When you're growing flowers, what do you do? You add water to the roots. You don't add water onto the flower. No, it's in the roots, and that helps it grow and helps it, you know, feed on to to help the the reflect. It's basically like your roots is a reflection. Your roots is like a, I mean, your hair is a reflection of your roots. The more you give love and nurture and, and water your hair, I mean, your, your roots, the more your hair grows, you know? If you're not doing that, then that's why your hair is struggling. You really want to massage and give love to your hair. Like, your hair is supposed to feel nice, supposed to feel great. Um, it's funny that we're talking about nice. Um, the other day we were talking about lice. In one of the this class, I was thinking, and I was like, "Black people don't get lice," and they're like, "Yeah, they can." I'm like, "The only time black people have ever had lice that I know of in my family, at least, was back home." And they told me the story. I didn't even really listen. But anywho, the, the the lice was back home, and I feel like because those lice are different from here, maybe they are attracted to dirt from the ones here that are attracted to clean hair. It's not that black people's hair is not clean, but it's just that our hair is more oily. So it's harder for a lice to grab on and stay on. That's how I feel like. At least that makes sense to me. So I don't really think we have lice. It's not as common. It's just like when you have, um, I think it's skin cancer. It's not too common on black people. I'm not basing this on facts. I'm just saying like, just from my opinion but 
hey, if it's not the truth, then it's not the truth. So, I'm gonna have to let y'all go. So, I'm just oiling my hair. And I'll probably, what I usually do is I oil this hair and then I leave it overnight. Then the next day, it's way better to braid the Bantu. So, I'll be back to braid the Bantu. And I hope y'all gods and goddesses release the goddess within and know that you have no choice but to it. Much love. Bye.